Today we're going to be discussing the MSA Solaris multi-gas monitor and uh, bump test and calibration. In front of me is the MSA Solaris monitor and to turn the instrument on and you have the side buttons here you have three buttons the on off button the page button and the reset button to turn it on you press and hold the on off button for a few seconds it'll beep at you and this monitor has a visual audible and vibratory alert um, to indicate an alarm condition it also has a uh, safe mode meaning there's a green LED that will flash every 15 seconds to indicate that the unit is working correctly and it is not in alarm condition or a sensor fail condition. Right now it's running through its warm up. It'll get, indicate what the cal gas is set for, what value, the time, the date. The last calibration. Then it'll count down from 23 seconds. Um, and this is sending a signal to and from the sensors to make sure there's no failure there and that everything is operational within the instrument. While this is going through its warm up, what I'd like to discuss is uh, MSA recommends that you use what's called a pentane simulant to calibrate the combustible sensor. A combustible sensor uh, has a platinum bead or wire within the sensor that heats up to a specific temperature and that's what displaces the gas as it passes by it um, and allows it to detect any combustible gas. So there is a lot of different gases such as methane, pentane, hexane, hydrogen um, that this will pick up. And pentane seems to be the closest as far as MSA is concerned um, to all the various gases. So by using a methane concentration in a calibration gas cylinder, what you have here is a four blend gas mixture you'll need to calibrate this instrument. Um, you have hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, methane, and oxygen. You have 20 parts per million uh, hydrogen sulfide, 60 parts per million carbon monoxide, 29% allyl methane, uh, which is 1.45% by volume, which is equivalent to 58% pentane. Um, the difference being is the combustible sensor, the catalytic bead sensor, loses the ability to detect methane first because it has to burn the hottest in order to detect methane. So by exposing it to methane, you're going to know if the sensor is working correctly or not. And by setting it to pentane, you're setting it the closest to all of the combustible gas array that there is. Um, then you have 15% oxygen. You can set your instrument and you want to ensure that your instrument is set to these values on your calibration gas cylinder prior to calibration which you can find in your manual um, how to set those calibration values. So at this point what I want to do is I want to do a bump test. I want to expose this instrument to the known concentration I just showed you and see how it responds. So you have a calibration adapter that's labeled top with an arrow. You want to ensure that that goes pointing to the top of the instrument and then it simply screws in. And this makes sure that no ambient outside air displaces the calibration gas that's being applied to it. So at this point, I have a half a liter per minute regulator connected to the calibration gas cylinder, along with some Tigon tubing, tubing to bring the calibration gas to the monitor. At this point, I'm going to turn it on. And you're going to see, see the uh, alarm, hear the vibratory and the audible going off showing it's in a low alarm condition, a high alarm condition. And again, I'm looking for 58% LEL. I'm looking for 15% oxygen, 60 parts per million CO, and 20 ppm H2S. If this is plus or minus either 5, 10, 15, or 20%, depending upon what your standard is for your company, is if it's within that tolerance that you specify, you have no need to calibrate, which at this point it is. You can go ahead and remove your gas. You want to wait for the readings to stabilize, and once they're stabilized and not moving, then it's pretty much set, and that's what the readings are. At this point, it's within calibration because it's plus or minus 20%. You remove that, shut your cal gas off. The readings will start to come down as fresh air hits by it. 
and we know the instrument's ready to use. If the instrument for some reason uh, did not pass the bump test, then you would initiate a calibration mode. And as you can tell, it's dropped below the alarm set points and it's still going off. You want to hit your reset button and that will reset the alarms. It will stay in alarm condition until you acknowledge you've, you know there's been an alarm, you've addressed it, and you reset that button. And at this point, you can go into the calibration portion of your manual and um, follow the calibration procedure if it failed the bump test. And that is how you bump test and verify calibration on an MSA Solaris.